common question I get asked is how much alcohol is safe. Now, that's a very nuanced question and there's actually no clear one-size-fits-all answer. It really depends. It depends how old you are. It depends if you're already struggling to conceive and for how long. And it depends what underlying conditions you have. PCS, endometriosis, autoimmune issues, liver problems. All of that actually matters. Now, when you drink alcohol, your liver drops everything else to prioritize clearing that toxin first. And yes, it's a toxin. And when your liver is busy doing that, then it won't detox old hormones properly. And then your blood sugars get more unstable, inflammation goes up, and your sleep quality, well, that goes out of the window, of course, and your nervous system and gut both take a real bad hit. And none of that is obviously fertility friendly, is it? So what you need to do here is use common sense. How much alcohol do you honestly think your body wants? Not just when you're trying to conceive, generally speaking. And then the harder question is, why are you drinking in the first place? Is it habit, social pressure, stress relief, numbing out? Do you want to make yourself feel better? Do you want to be a different person? Well, I'm very sensitive when it comes to that topic because I grew up in a household where alcohol was a daily, a daily thing. And I have never been drunk in my whole life for that exact reason. So yes, when it comes to that topic, it's really close to my heart and my answer would always include questioning your choices. That said, obviously, if you have one or two drinks a week and everything else in your health and fertility picture is solid, you're probably fine. But if you've been struggling with infertility for a while and nothing really is happening, well, then let's be honest. Should you really be drinking? Or is it time to give your body maybe a higher chance, a bigger advantage.